Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we just recovered Verkle and we are incredibly close to being able to upgrade our R&D facility. I want to have a little bit more funding before we actually have that happen, but uh, a satellite in a specific orbit of Minmus? Thermometer. What does this orbit look like? Let's check. If that orbit is more equatorial, that might be worthwhile. Going this direction. That's actually a fascinating orbit. That's pretty decent. Yeah, we're probably going to do that. And that'll get us the money that we need, too. So let's go ahead and hop into Mission Control and accept this. There we go. And we do need science data from Surface of Minmus. So let's go do that quick. Because theoretically, we should be able to do that from the Flea 2B, or the Flea 2 base core that's already at Minmus. Oh wait, no, this is Moon. This is the Moon one. Um, we probably want to stop tracking this. This is the one that's broken with no one here, right? Yeah. But see, this is why I was I was okay with saying that we had the antenna because this antenna survived and we landed like a kilometer away. So we had internal antennas that could connect with this relay antenna that can connect with the comnet. And yeah, we have no crew control, but let's go back to the space center and that particular base core, we have no need to continue tracking. So we can get rid of that. Into the tracking station we go. And we can stop tracking this particular one. Yes, that is fine. The one at the moon. Okay, now we go to the Flea 2 base core on Minmus so that we can get our contract done. Come on. Go ahead and load. There you go. Okay, so Jeb and Valentina are both here, but let's go ahead and open up our service bay here. And let's go ahead and run... The do we have an experiment in here or did we just cram this full of batteries? We may have crammed this full of batteries. That's okay. Because we can always just grab a crew report and transmit that and I think that'll count. Perfect. Okay. Back to the Space Center. What else do we got? Does that get us enough money? Like, we need enough to continue operating with, right? So... We could potentially grab that plant flag on... No, we actually already did grab plant flag on the moon. Uh, 178. That's really close. 110 for completing this satellite mission. Bring a Duna Stone back. Ooh. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Because we'd have to return back from Duna. That's a big ask with our current tech level. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do that co communication satellite over Minmus quick. We'll get that contract done. And once that is done, depending on how much it costs us to do this commsat... Um, how much is this? 52k? So the advance almost fully covers that. I mean, this is way more DV than we need. But... Yeah, well, the... <laughs> we really don't need the heavy lifter, do we? Like, realistically, what's our thrust to weight here? 1.2? Point 
So we actually do... Well, if we detach this... We can probably get away with just this, right? And this is substantially cheaper. So let's launch this. I don't think we need the heavy lifter boosters for uh, anything other than going to, like, Duna or something. Okay, so this will be slightly higher thrust to weight than it had before, but of course our first stage will burn out substantially faster. So that's something we're going to need to consider. We have 3000 DV here. How long is the burn time? 154 seconds? Okay. And I mean, we do have our satellite maneuver stage, right? So let's go. And this cut the cost basically in half, which I'm super okay. We have a thermometer on here, don't we? I should check that. We do. Okay. So this will qualify to complete the contract. Always good to know. Okay, we can already start pitching downrange a little bit. I mean, with our single booster, we should be a lot better off. I'm not going to pitch too much further than this, though. Whoa. SAS, what are you doing? <laughs> Just keep it here. The SAS is going a little nuts right now. Please stop, SAS. Like, if I reinitialize you here, are you okay? No, we're flipping. Okay. Oh my. That is uh, quite the flip. Wow, we have no pitch authority here? Why don't we have pitch authority? Do we need to put fins on this thing? Like, I mean, at this point, I'm I'm just going to revert this, but I'm just wondering why that is even happening. Like, it shouldn't be, it feels like. We should have plenty of pitch authority, right? Is it just because... I mean, we've got the advanced inline stabilizer there. Is it potentially just because this isn't connected strongly enough? Like, should we strut this? Maybe. I'm going to try that. Strutting, like, quad-coupled. From here to the SAS module. I mean, it's not as straight as I would like. Strutting like that. Something along that line. Okay, let's save that. And let's see if that gives us any better authority. Because I was noticing the rocket did have a little bit of a bend in the middle. Surely that's not the uh, core issue there, though. We may want to end up replacing that second stage with a larger second stage anyway. But uh, let's see how this feels. If this doesn't work, I'm going to rework the second stage and probably move the SAS module into the actual spacecraft. This does feel more solid so far, though. I think this adapter decoupler thing here that we've got going on is uh, causing some, like, not really tensile strength, but some, some issues with bending, for sure. Okay, let's see how it works if we start pitching relatively early. We don't need to pitch very far. I was just saying, we don't need to pitch very far. Yeah. That's more like how it should feel. Oh, no, it's trying to push back on us a bit. 
aerodynamic forces aren't really liking this. I don't blame them. But this is definitely more stable. Oh, I may have spoken too soon. Okay, <laughs> let's try this with our patented backflip technology. It's more stable, but it's not stable. What's our apoapsis at? 35 kilometers. Okay, I mean, we need to continue raising that. But right now, let's just try to correct our trajectory a little bit here. Pull our prograde node down a little. Okay, that should be good. Getting some atmospheric heating, that's fine. Our fairing should be able to handle that. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut throttle there, though. Head to the horizon now. And let's push up that speed. What are you? Habitation module debris. What? <laughs> In the atmosphere? Okay. That's a little odd. Okay, fairing gone. And second stage. Into orbit we go. I mean, our apoapsis is plenty high. Let's just, uh... Head up to the apoapsis and circularize. Something along the lines of... This. Okay, this is going to be a 43 second burn, so at 21 and a half seconds. And we need to wait a little bit until we get high enough. Should also probably go ahead and extend these solar panels, just to be safe. There we go. Continue to warp a bit. Okay. And now let's go ahead and circularize. Right now. Okay, and we've got more than enough DV to get there, even dropping the heavy boosters. I'm not surprised by that in the slightest. Like, we have... We're probably not even going to dip into our spacecraft DV, even with dropping those heavy boosters. Okay, good enough. Let's go ahead and set Minmus as our target. We need to get an encounter there. All right, at this descending node, we can go ahead and uh, change our inclination. So let's see here, that would be 8.8 .8 degrees, so we need to go this way. About like... That'll be fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and warp to that maneuver. Twenty-six second burn, so we want to do this at T minus thirteen seconds. So we can continue warping forward for a little bit. Okay. Seven seconds.
And I started a second late, but it's fine. It's only rocket science. What could go wrong? <laughs> I say as I have a string of awkward missions currently. Well, this one won't be one of them. Okay. Good enough? Good enough. Onward to Minmus. So, if we were to burn here, would that get us a nice encounter? I mean, it gets us an encounter. I don't know about a nice encounter. It's an awkward encounter, to be sure. Let's, uh, maybe burn a little less. Not that much less. No, not... I don't want a radial burn. Now that doesn't get, get us an encounter at all. What am I talking about? <laughs> we need it to be a little further along in the orbit. Now that'll get us an encounter. Maybe. Yeah, that's an encounter. Is it a good encounter? It's okay. We'll need to flip our directionality as we're coming in. But that should work. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to flip our direction, but that doesn't take much DV. So, this will be fine. We'll, we'll take this and, uh, yeah. Should be good. It is time to put a cut in here, though, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we'll get this satellite in the correct orbit. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.